That is the second piece that was specifically written for band in 1924. The first piece specifically for band was written in 1901. This was the second one to come along. There were bands at that time, but bands were playing orchestral transcriptions. And no one had really taken band on as an entity in and of itself until about 1927, 1930, right around there. They started saying, yeah, these bands, they can kind of do some cool things. Uh, Rafe Vaughn Williams, English composer, uh, traveled around all over England and collected folk songs and put them together and thought that it would work really well in the medium of a band. And that's where we get our second main piece. It's interesting to note that in 1901, our first piece specifically written for band was another collection of English folk songs. So thanks to the English, it was able to get the band started as a viable entity and not just playing orchestral transcriptions for the rest of our lives. The second piece, Seal Lullaby, this has an interesting story behind it as well too. Eric Whitaker, uh, the composer of this particular piece, um, he has gotten the University of Las Vegas, of all places, to be the hotbed for um, composing. It's one of these schools that is known for now for the learning the art of composition. And it's a lot thanks to Eric Whitaker. And he has uh, written a whole bunch of fabulous pieces. If you really want a wild trip, get onto YouTube, uh, Google his name, and find the piece Godzilla, Godzilla Eats Las Vegas. It's a <laughs> wonderful, wonderful piece. It's really hard, but it's a fantastic piece of music. Eric was contacted by, um, uh, uh, well, um, DreamWorks, we'll just put it out there. Um, he was contacted by a company that wanted to have him write a piece of music for an animated movie. And uh, the Seal Lullaby um, is the piece that he wrote for them. And it's a beautiful, beautiful melody. And he actually, um, Eric Whitaker dedicated it to Stephen Schwartz, who if you don't know Stephen Schwartz, that name, that is a Broadway name. Most currently um, with uh, Wicked is one of his latest claims to fame. Uh, but Stephen Schwartz sort of got Eric Whitaker con connected up with DreamWorks and wrote this beautiful, beautiful piece of music. And he didn't hear anything for the longest time as to whether they wanted the piece or whether they accepted it. And it just sat and sat and sat. And finally one day he got the courage, called up the company and said, did you not like my piece? Was there something wrong with it? And they said, oh, no, the piece of music was great. We just dumped the seal lullaby idea and we ended up doing Panda, comes from Panda. And so it was just one of those pieces that just kind of laid on the shelf for a while. And then he decided, you know what? I'm gonna publish it and put it out there for bands. And it's a beautiful, beautiful ballad. A um, Couple of different things we're gonna do with it tonight. Number one, I'm gonna move over to the piano. And secondly, I'm going to hand over the conducting baton to our absolutely fantastic drum major, Miss Sophie Harrison. Please welcome her to the podium. <laughs> 